Hello, welcome to the third video on mastering Bizel tool in Pixel app. Um, in the previous video, um, we looked at how to create simple shapes using the Bizel tool, from creating lines to creating you know, triangles, you know, square. And I, I, I found out that I made a mistake in the previous video. What we actually created was a rectangle and not a square. So um, in this video, I am, you know, in the previous video, I promised that I'm going to trace out um one of the world biggest companies logo using the bezel tool and i think um one way to get used to using bezel tool is to continue you know practicing and tracing out logos you know familiar logos trace it out with your bezel tool and um even later as even um shapes you trace it out using um, your bezel tool so in this video we'll be tracing out the apple's logo so um, let me make that visible. I've actually imported it here, and you can download it from the comment section, um, the the, um, the description. Um, so, and uh, without no further ado, let's get right in the video. And sorry to cut you short right here. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell. You know this helps you to get all our notification, and um, you get to see our videos first. And you know there's no payments attached to this. And um, let's get right into the business. So um, let's pull out the Bezel tool. Click on Bezel tool. And um, let's start this way. Um, let's try to trace out. Now let's edit edit the point. You know to edit point we click on edit point here. So um, let's zoom in. And uh, this is the icon for zooming in. So after you like if you type tap on the icon, you know it activates and you can pinch in or pinch out rather. And you can move it around move it around just to your taste then you can for you to continue editing click on the same icon the plot there now don't click here okay don't click here if you click here it will go back to normal you got it so let me see, zoom back and click on the plus icon here then edit bring this here Let's zoom out a bit so I'll be able to see the other point. Then click the plus icon again to disable and come here and zoom in. Make sure it's on the edge. That's it. Then you can edit now. Click back and make sure you pull this and make sure it's aligned. Let's zoom out a bit. Let's come to the side. Of course, we need an extra. Uh, we need extra points, so we click on Add Point. Then we tap on the screen. So with this thing is now watch now. Since I've not actually clicked on this icon here, even though I click on the screen, no points will be activated. So I need to click on this plus. That's it. So click back. Yeah, that's it. You can see that. So I'm gonna edit the point there. Click on Edit Point. Let me zoom in and bring this here. Make sure it's at the edge. For this is gonna be like the logo that will be formed here is gonna be a rough, you know, a rough sketch. Because um this most of these logos are um create um designed using ratios in mathematics. For example, I think um not that uh, I, I don't actually think but um the apple logo was created or was designed using the um, golden ratio in mathematics so um, most of these logos and we'll, we'll go into all of these when we start um the video tutorial on logo design you know from the beginning to the start and all of that make sure it's aligned that's it then um zoom out I think we need one more point here. We need a 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 point. Point over here. So um, let's click on add point and let's activate this or deactivate that rather. And before that, look, it looks like this point is. Let me. Yeah. So add point. I want a point here. 
I also want a point here and also a point here. So let's edit the point. I'm gonna bring this here. Make sure it's aligned. Yeah, make sure it's aligned. logos like this make uh, makes you used to the makes you used to the visual tool um, in pixel app so i i really encourage you to you know to get more logos you know company logos and try to trace it out with the bezel tool you know it helps you get used to it so we need more points i think um where do i need the points if you put it here will it be okay let me, let me put let me put the point here and see so let me deactivate this one point here and see if you can actually use that here yeah it's possible you can see that it actually matches yeah bring that back a bit yeah so we need extra points or do we actually need need need, need extra point or i don't think so now let me zoom out a bit i don't think we need extra points we just need to connect the point so we connect points using the um the second icon in the actions which is this I've connected the point so let's edit points activate this let's see if yeah that's it I think we're done with this then um if you want to add of course we need to trace out these two these two we need to trace out this um to do that we we need um to add sorry and move this up a bit of uh, seven minutes we, we, we need to be fast with this so um i don't know why this is not activating but um, let's just um Fill, let's let, um, let's fill it with, with a color. Let's use this color. It's just a color that you know you can fill it with any color you want. But I'm just filling it with this, and um, I want to take this stroke to zero. You can see that. Of course, it has this sharp edge. It shouldn't be like that. You know, you can still go back a bit and make it smooth. So we still want to trace out um, the other point um, here. Sorry, let me go back. Let me remove one point. Edit points and bring this here. And the, I think we only need two points here. Just these points and these points. And let's connect the points. Yeah. Then um, let's edit points. Bring this here. Let's zoom in. Let's see how that looks like. looks like actually um, this the edge is actually pointed so we need a pointed edge remember to create a pointed edge we use this look at that round edge flat edge pointed edge so um let's go back to edit points in this here and edit make sure it's aligned yeah Yeah, that's it. So I'm um, go to fill fill color, the same color. Reduce stroke to zero. It depends on what you're creating. If you want what uh, if you want your logo to have a stroke, man, um, that's a choice. But you know most logos don't have a stroke. So um, let's still edit the point. I think it's not perfect al al aligned. And um, these two. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's it. Then you mark. Then zoom out, zoom out. Then zoom out. Yeah, and that's your logo. That's your logo. You know, you can save it as a PNG. You can go to your, you know, transparent background, remove the background. You know, take this out. Then you can save it as a PNG. Save image as a PNG. Of course, it's, it's already in PNG. And you can just come to custom, then pick the highest quality, which is ultra, then save. And that's all. Um, in the next video, we'll trace out more uh, logos, and um, we use, then we'll now use it to create logos on our own. Then um, I think at this point, I'm gonna say see you in the next video.